Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on function machines. This is the second video on the topic, so we're going to look at another skill in this video, and we'll go through an example question at the end. So here we want to draw our own function machine, and in the example uh, it says draw a function machine below, so that b equals a minus 3 over 5. So this requires an understanding of the bid mass orders of operations. So we've got uh, brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Uh, but one thing we should also be aware of is that we have a fraction and any time you have a fraction you perform the calculations on the numerator first and then the calculations of the denominator and then finally you do the division of the whole fraction last. So bearing that in mind uh, we're going to get an output of B here uh, from an input of A. So we've got some operations along the way. Uh, the first one is we subtract 3 from A seeing as though we treat the numerator as one part and do that first. So we minus 3. So our first operation is going to be to minus 3. Then the next operation is going to be to divide by 5, seeing as though 5 is the denominator of the fraction. And that gives us our output of B. So that's pretty much all there is to it. You just have to have a decent understanding of the bid mass order of operations and how fractions apply uh, as a special case. So let's briefly run through a quick example here. So inputting 5 into the function machine below will give an output of 4. So 5 goes in, 4 comes out. Find the value of x in the function machine below. Okay, so the first thing that happens when we input 5 is we add 3. So 5 plus 3 gives us 8. So the intermediary step gives us an output of 8. And then what happens next is that 8 is divided by x to give us 4. So 8 over x equals 4. So therefore, x equals 8 over 4, which is 2. So that's all there is to it, really. Our value is x equals 2. If you want to practice some function machines exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So this is a good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out what you need to do in order to improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.